Hey Maya, so some wigs here. Maya revamped them for me. Do your thing, girl. Parents were in work mode, and as I can see, my client just left a bag of wigs on me. So, we're gonna look at them and I'm gonna show you the process of revamping these and getting them clean and whatever it is that the client need coloring, getting them looking a different style, you know, because we have these wigs and that's why we buy the virgin Indian things so that it can last us for years. And we can style them and bleach them and color them so let me show you what we have in this bag so first she has a u part wig i'm a u part wig a closure wig has a little tear so i'm gonna assess it and see what i need to do this one might be getting a color but it's definitely getting a wash and deep condition as you can see it's a bit um tangled and looking lot of rough because of my client wear their wigs okay these were not made by me if you want a wig with war um weird by me <laughs> these were not made by me so if you need a, a wig made by me just dm me in the inbox or whatsapp me next is this i'm guessing it's a curly unit this is a frontal unit and as you can see this one has a lot of glue and gunk that we need to get rid of so that she can get a nice fresh install it needs to be defined we might add a little bit of color and pizzazz to this because you know it's summer 2020 we're outside we outside okay in the man them I'm outside and the last one is a frontal as well but this looks like a curly wavy um situation um same situation we need to we need to get rid of all this gunk and glue on our frontals and oh for the closure as well i'm gonna put a band in it so it's easier and more um tacked on her head so when she's on the road she's not secure about it and it can lay flat in the front area this one i'm not sure what we're gonna do with this yet i'm gonna consult with her and see what she wants to be done with it but of course it's going to be washed and deep conditioned i use silicone mix to get my wigs and my clients wigs together all right so these are the wigs keep watching to see hey. all right so a part of my wig revamp i am on the frontal wigs now and i'm gonna do something that a lot of clients don't do i'm taking out the combs they are not necessarily necessary for um the frontal wigs most of the time they get snagged on your caps or your hair and it can cause irritation if, especially if you are a long time where like you extended period of time wear your wigs like so I'm just gonna take my time and use my razor and remove the three top combs from the wigs and it's quite easy to do because they're really not that hard to do as you guys see i just knocked the first thread and it's like it's just giving me way to do the rest what i will let stay is the one at the back because that is useful for if you're not gluing down the wig at the back you can just tuck it under so like if you want to reach under and oil your scalp scratch your scalp while the frontal is still glued down that is totally fine but the ones at the top 
tend to not really be necessary especially if you are glued down even if you're a um glueless person so you can just add a band And you see in a quick less than two minutes all the all the combs are out and the wig is ready to do the next step so the next step i'm gonna do for the frontal wigs and i'm doing these these stages for both of them at the same time but you'll see the front the, the customization of each wig separate in separate videos but next step i'm gonna be removing all this glue so i'm gonna give it the, a hot bath so let's take a look at both of them so this is the curly unit and this is a wavy body cur um body wave unit um here is this one has a bit of a rip but that is okay i'm gonna remove all of this gunk so i'm gonna give the Here's a hot bath or the lace, I should say, the lace area on in the front because um, this can tend to shrink your wig if you put it in hot water for too long. <clears throat> I'm going to give the lace a hot bath to get rid of all of this buildup of lace, glue and spray or whatever else is on the lace. So be right back. So the glue starting to show. All right, so what are you see me doing here is using a rag to gently, it looks a little bit rough because it's sped up, gently remove the glue after soaking it in the warm water. And what the warm water does is um, get it like kind of rubbery and get it more, um, release it a little bit from the lace so it's easier to remove. Um, so you, you just have to wipe or use a toothbrush you can see me halfway through it there you can see the little white residue so what that's what the warm water does you can see it a lot more and it's easier to, to remove and this is it fully done you see the residue in the hair but all the lace itself is clean all right so this is wig number three Curly unit, very long, and this is how it's starting out. I actually washed this one because I couldn't manage it in the state that it was in. As you guys saw it earlier, it was very knotted, 
so as I can see here a little bit of not bleaching needs to be done a little bit a tiny bit of tweezing in the front not too much because there's a little bit of edge and stuff but yeah we got our work So you can see the difference of what the treezing does and I'm showing you guys the products that I'm going to use to bleach the knots and I'm using the BW2 powder and the Clearall um, Volume 30 developer and you see that you can see the knots so what we're going to do is just transform that and make it look more natural and seamless. So how I go about mixing this is I generally use one scoop of powder and one scoop of developer or just eyeball it i try to get it as pasty as possible like toothpaste um but very thick and rich so that it doesn't seep through and bleach too much of the hair strands it should just about reach the knots and no further um so we're just gonna mix up that formula and get it on the air i'm gonna plaster it on the lace and on the lace alone and yeah let it process for about 10 to 15 minutes Okay, so that's the lace with all the paste all over it processing and next I'm gonna go into washing and conditioning the, the wig. You see how dirty that was. I had a bit of a problem with hair. It got a little bit matted because the hair is very coarse. Um, but this is the third. Alright guys, so this is the final look of the third wig and this took a little bit longer because it was real matted but this is what we did we pressed it out to give it like a silk look i might cut it a little bit more um but we just gave it a side part no baby ears on this one because i love how the plucking on this is it looks very natural and a little bit of bang i might layer it a little bit more i'm not sure yet. i'm gonna um consult with the client and see what she wants i'm thinking it might needs to be cut about here but let's see what she says and yeah